Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the 88 Supra build. We were so close to getting the 1JZ in the car this past Sunday. The issue was the oil pan was not tapped for a turbo drain because the oil pan came from a non-turbo Jay-Z engine. So I had to drill out the drain holes as well as the two bolt holes. So let me show you guys what I did. I did this all yesterday and you can see that here's the hole that I had to drill out and this was basically blocked off and these were not threaded. So it looks like this pan, based on whether it's going to go onto a non-turbo or a turbo car, is already like pre-made with this hole partially done. The hole doesn't go all the way through and these holes aren't threaded. So basically I had to pretty much finish that part of the job and just drill out this hole and tap this for the right thread. I should be able to get the neck on here. The only thing is I'll just need to change up the shape of the hose, which is no big deal. The biggest thing is I had to take the lower oil pan back out just so I can clean up all the metal. Today, I just need to reseal the oil pan. I did want to show you guys some parts before I do that though. Let's show you this. So I got some more FIPG for the oil pan. I did have some red high temp RTV that's been sitting in my toolbox for a long time, but I was like, eh, might as well just use the right stuff. I got new drain plugs for the transmission. So these have a hex instead of these really like thin, can't, you guys can't see that, but the really thin bolts. Got the spring for the clutch fork. Got two oil filters, which are basically the same filter, but just longer on one of them. So they should both work, but as far as like which one I use, I guess it just depends on, I don't know if there's a recommendation on having more volume or not. Got a new drain plug and gasket for the engine. So here's an extra gasket for that for the future. And here are the gaskets for that. And then here is the fuel filter. Has the little washers in there. So this one is from Drift Motion. All right. Okay, so this should be the power steering hose. Hopefully it's the right one that I need. And the power steering line does come up on this side over here instead of this side for the 7M. Yeah, real excited about that. It's real good quality. So there's the AFM, hope it's the right one and I hope it works. So you can't get really get these new, I mean there might be a couple floating around out there but I just got this used off eBay. Okay so I got the oil pan resealed and I got the fill plug and drain plug replaced with this hex. I didn't put it all the way in because I don't want to um, use up the gasket. I also put on the power steering hose. So here's the power steering hose. Got it tight down there. I still have the old reservoir hooked up to the old line here. I also have the 1JZ one on here as well. So I'm not really sure how I want to mount that up yet. So that's why I have both in there. I'll figure that out once I get the engine in there. I'm still waiting for two of the correct bolts for the fork. The bolts should come in a few days. So that should not be a problem. So once the engine's dropped in, I should be able to work out some of the kinks on the smaller things. Hopefully this goes smoothly with getting it in there. And let's just see how it goes.
All right guys, the engine is in. I am so excited. We had a, a big issue because I didn't get the hoist on the farthest setting here initially, it was on here, and this was hitting the bumper. I initially was trying to take the bumper off, but I'm like, there's way too many bolts to take this bumper off. Um, and I am taking the bumper off eventually, but I just didn't want to do this today. We didn't want to, but we took it back out, extended this arm, and then finally it was able to, to go all the way in. I just put the sparkle cover on there just to, just to kind of see, you know, you just, just dream, you know? Um, but it's in there. Alright guys, so I was up pretty late last night just trying to get everything situated. Transmission mount was a big painting, but I got it in there. Also got the engine mounts in there as well. Today, I'm just going to do a few more small things. I need to install the drive shaft and a few other things, some peripherals on the engine just to get things moving along. Then after that, I need to work on the wiring, but that's probably going to be for another video. Hopefully we make some progress today. Let's go. So this is... The Shaftmasters lightweight drive shaft is a one piece. This one's aluminum, they sell them in aluminum or steel. I'll go ahead and weigh this. Okay, so that's zeroed out. So 
that one's 5,306 grams. That is super light. I'm gonna go ahead and support it with the transmission jack on the back part and try to slide it in to the transmission here in the front. So I got it bolted up there. There's the transmission. Looks like we got the right size drive shaft. Let's just hope it, you know, works good. All right, so I got the coils here. Let's clean them up a little bit, but um, I'm much ready to throw in. I'm glad I marked them because this was such a long time ago I took them out. You know, I might forget, so. Line added on there. Now I have both reservoirs hooked up right now because this one's still hooked up to the rack. After looking at it, I know the battery's gonna be here. We're gonna have the intake tube here. Um, I'm gonna basically take this hose off and try to run a hose from here down into here. So hopefully um, there'll be room to run a hose, maybe like a little connector and get that in there. So I want to keep the stock reservoir location. So we got the throttle cable in last night. It should be long enough to reach the 1JZ throttle body now, so that's good news. And I also painted a couple of the aluminum parts from the exhaust side, I'll show you guys that. I also kind of cleaned up the heat shield for the manifold. <laughs> and it was pretty rusty, so I just hit it with a wire brush. I was gonna paint it, but I kinda like it like this, so I just wanna see how it does next few weeks, and it's not a big deal to take it back off and like do something with it like paint it or refinish it or something, but I kind of like it, just kind of this um, cleaner, not fully polished look.
Oh, it, looks, it actually looks kind of cool. I, I like the way it looks. I don't know. kind of cleaned out on the inside a little bit. The main part of the intake, I'm not going to um, clean out just yet. There probably is a lot of carbon buildup inside that I need to clean out. I wanna get it just situated on the car, just so I can start seeing where the wires go, make sure to have everything routed, and then maybe in a day or so, I'm gonna pull it off and, and clean it out real good. Alright guys, so I got the intake in and I'm so happy about that and really the next part is to be able to go through the rest of this wiring just to make sure I'm getting power to the ECU, see what the rest of this wiring does. So that's going to be the next challenge, but I'm going to pretty much end the video here. We are cutting it close to going to Supers in Vegas because it's Thursday right now and we should be leaving either Tuesday night or really early Wednesday morning. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to still shoot for it, but everything else, yeah, just moving along. So if you guys have any like questions or comments, please put it in the comment section down below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.